In this video I'm going to be going through two examples where I write equations for lines that are either parallel or perpendicular to the given line and go through the given point. I am assuming that you already have some background knowledge in this as in you know what point slope form is, you know what general form is, standard form, and slope intercept form. Okay on this first example here it says write the equation in point slope form Okay, so we're going to write in point slope form of the line that is parallel to y equals 2 thirds x minus 4 and passes through 6, 3. Then rewrite it in slope intercept form. Then rewrite it in slope intercept form. Okay, so we've got two things that we've got to work on here first. So first of all, point slope form and parallel. All right, for it to be parallel, I need it to have the exact same slope as that line, and I need it to go through this point. Okay, so as we recall, point slope form is y minus y1 equals m times the quantity x minus x sub 1. So I'm going to replace my point and replace my slope, my parallel slope, so the same slope, and write the equation. So remembering that putting the points in, it's going to be the opposite of what I see over here. So I'll need a negative three and I'll need a negative six. So y minus three equals same slope parallel line times x minus six. So there is my point slope form of the line that is parallel to this line and goes through that point. Okay, now I need to then take this and rewrite it into slope intercept form. So I'm going to start with y minus 3 equals 2 thirds x minus 6. Okay, so we probably should distribute that 2 thirds to both things inside there. So I'll have a y minus 3 equals a 2 thirds x. Now 2 thirds times 6. 3 is going to go into 3 once, 3 will go into 6 2 times, 2 times 2 is going to give me a minus 4. Then I'm going to add 3 to both sides, and I'm going to have a y equals a 2 thirds x minus 1. And this is going to then be the slope intercept form of that same equation, same line, which is parallel to the original given equation and goes through the point 6, 3. All right, now we're going to work out a second example where we deal with perpendicular lines. So in this example, it says write an equation in point slope form and general form that is perpendicular to the given equation and goes through the point for negative 2. My given equation is y equals negative 1 fifth x plus 6. Okay, so we need point slope form. We need perpendicular and it's got to go through 4, negative 2. All right, and then we also need general form, and that'll probably be what we're going to do second. All right, so if we focus on perpendicular, you need to remember that perpendicular lines have negative reciprocal slopes. So in my given equation, I've got a slope of negative 1 fifth, okay? So I'm given a slope of negative one-fifth. I need the negative reciprocal of that, so I'm going to use a positive five. I'm going to take the reciprocal of that and switch the sign. So I'm going to use five as my slope of my new equation, and I'm going to use that point for negative two. So from there, I can do y. Now remember, it's the opposite of what these look like, so it's a negative two. So I'm going to put a plus two equals Five times the quantity x. It's a positive 4 here, so I want a minus 4 there. So that is my point slope form. Now I'm going to take that point slope form and I'm going to rewrite it into general form. So we'll take that y plus 2 equals 5 times the x minus 4. Okay, I'm going to distribute. So y plus 2 equals a 5x minus a 20. Then um, for uh, general form, I need both 
x and y on the left hand side and I need all the extra numbers on the left hand side as well. So first off I think we'll subtract 5x from both sides. We're going to subtract 5x over here. 5x minus 5x on the right hand side is going to make it go away and there is no like term already over there on the left hand side. I'm going to put it in the order that I need it to be in. So negative 5x plus y plus 2 equals don't forget the negative 20 right there. Now I need to move that negative 20 over because in general form everything is on the left hand side. So I'm going to add 20 and add 20 so that I get a 0 over here on the right hand side. 20 plus 22 is going to give me a 22. So I'll have a negative 5x plus y plus 22 equals 0. And then there is a rule that says that that leading term must be positive and must be an integer. Well, it is an integer, but it's not a positive integer. It's got a negative 5 on it right now. So that means to really truly be in general form, I'm going to have to multiply through by a negative 1. In other words, go through and change all the signs. So then I'll have a 5x minus a y minus 22 equals 0. And then there I have my general form of the line that is perpendicular to the given equation and goes through 4, negative 2. So just a couple of examples there going through and writing parallel and perpendicular lines um, in a variety of formats, point slope form, slope intercept form, and general form. Definitely a review. I was expecting you to already have some um, work with these forms so that you knew what they were and this was just kind of like a little summary review. Definitely thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks.